Christopher Walken is a true legend in the theatre and film world. Respected by his peers, he starred in more than 100 films and TV shows, entertaining millions across a number of generations. Born in New York in 1943, his birth name was Ronald Walken, the name he would go by until the age of 22. The third son of a German father and Scottish mother, his family lived in Queens where his father Paul ran a bakery. His mother Rosalie belonged to an organisation called the Stage Mothers Society and she was very involved with Christopher and his brother's young careers. She would take them to auditions for TV shows and photo shoots. By the early 1950s, she had all three boys enrolled in tap dancing classes and performing regularly on television programs like the Colgate Comedy Hour. It was there that a 10-year-old Christopher met comedy great Jerry Lewis, who influenced his decision to make show business his lifelong career. Throughout his teens, Walken would perform in off-Broadway musicals. And in one production, he suggested the director cast a girl that he'd been taking acting lessons with. That girl was Liza Minnelli, and she got the part. Over the next few years, Christopher worked mostly in musical theatre. While performing in a touring production of West Side Story, he met dancer Georgianne Thon. They fell in love and were married in 1969. They are still together, but have chosen not to have children due to their hectic professional lifestyle. Walken soon moved on from musicals to dramatic theatre and film roles. But in 2007, he would make a singing, dancing return to his roots when he co-starred with John Travolta in the remake of John Waters' Hairspray. I did a lot of musicals till I was about, you know, I would say till I was about 30, that's what I did. Then I got a job in a play. And uh, from that, I got a job in a movie. And uh, my, my career as an actor really is kind of accidental. No, I never set out to be an actor. I was in musicals. Walken had trouble moving to non-musical theatre. He suffered from severe stage fright, nervous shakes and broken concentration. Determined, he quickly overcame his fear and in 1966 won the Theatre World Award for his performance in Tennessee Williams' The Rose Tattoo. At around age 25, Christopher began his film career and he soon had a role supporting Sean Connery in the Sidney Lumet-directed The Anderson Tapes. But it was his small, memorable role in Woody Allen's Annie Hall, playing Diane Keaton's suicidal brother, that people really began to take notice of his work. Shortly after this, he was cast in Michael Cimino's critically acclaimed The Deer Hunter, alongside Robert De Niro and Meryl Streep. He played Nick, a young steel worker emotionally destroyed by the Vietnam War. And to achieve his character's gaunt appearance, he lived on rice, bananas and water for an entire week. It was worth it. The Deer Hunter would go on to become one of the highlights of his career. And at the 1979 Academy Awards, the film won five Oscars, including Best Picture, and would secure Walken the Best Supporting Actor Award. Over the next 30 years, Christopher Walken continued to put in quality performances in a wide range of films and theatre productions, which included playing a Bond villain in A View to Kill and starring in the 1981 musical Pennies from Heaven, which earned him plaudits from dance legends Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly. And Walken let his dancing shoes do the talking again when he teamed up with director Spike Jones on the music video for Fatboy Slim's Weapon of Choice. It went on to win six awards at the 2001 MTV Video Music Awards and a Grammy for Best Short Form Music Video. It's his accumulative work in everything from drama to comedy to musical that has seen Christopher Walken become one of the most respected actors in Hollywood. And that's why so many people want to work with him. I've wanted to work with Christopher Walken my entire... That's the only thing I ever wanted. He fascinates me. And now that I met him, it's just like, he's just... Christopher Walken, <laughs> it's just the way he's a charming, funny, really sweet man. Christopher Walken, it's like, Christopher Walken, <laughs> it's great. It was incredible working with Mr. Walken, it's amazing. Um, I would have worked for free <laughs> just to be with Mr. Walken. He's a bit overwhelming at first just because it's Mr. Walken. He's this legendary, epic actor. But really, he's a goofball. Like, he's just such a clown, and he's so funny, just naturally, just a funny guy. One sentence with Chris Walken is, like, simultaneously terrifying, confusing, and hilarious, um, and, and endearing, probably, all, all at once. And he's oblivious to all of it, or at least he acts as though he is. He's just an actor doing his thing. 
Um, and he never lets on, you know, I mean, he's so funny. He's just a really funny guy. And he never plays it that way, you know. He, as much as he knows, I think he knows how funny he is and how, mu how much amusement and enjoyment people get out of it. He never lets on. There's never a wink, you know. If there is, it's very subtle. If you look at Chris Walken in uh, The Country Bears and you look at Chris Walken in The King of New York, He's not playing either one as a comedy or as a drama. Um, he's playing them both with this kind of hot intensity, and they're both mesmerizing performances to me. He never misses. In over 40 years of filmmaking, Christopher Walken has rarely turned down a role. Averaging five movies a year, he believes that making movies, whether they turn out good or bad, is always a rewarding experience. It's this outlook that has seen him work consistently in contemporary films, including roles in Pulp Fiction, Wedding Crashes, Man on Fire, plus playing the headless horseman in Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow and co-starring in Steven Spielberg's Catch Me If You Can, for which he was nominated for a Best Supporting Actor Oscar at the 2003 Academy Awards. With such an incredibly impressive resume, it's not surprising that in October 2004, Christopher Walken was honoured with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in front of his peers. I don't think they could like be giving it to anybody better than Chris because it's like, you know, Chris is, was, I, I think when he was born, he was, you know, they pulled him out of the womb and said, you know, you just gave birth to an actor. Because <laughs> he is an actor and he's a fantastic actor and dancer and he's been doing it for, you know, uh, it's like, he, he's the exact kind of people that deserve to be uh, uh, here with all with the Bogarts and the Roy Rogers and the Triggers and the John Waynes that are down here. You're in great company, Chris. It's so, so hard in this business to be an original, truly unique, set apart from all the others. And that's why I'm here today, because I'm here to represent the thousands upon thousands of people who try to steal Christopher Walken's magic on a daily basis by impersonating him. You, I've done it on the Conan O'Brien show many places, and my favorite time is coming up because it's Halloween. I don't go out trick-or-treating. I like to entertain the kids who come to the door. <laughs> Being Halloween, the tradition is always to try to scare the kids. So I dress up as Christopher Walken. And when they come to the door, I say, hi. Trick or treat? That's a good question. I too have a question. Which one of you little kids can guess what I've buried under my house? <laughs> Anyways, it's a true honor to be here to help pay tribute to this brilliant talent, a one of a kind who belongs in cement. I'm very lucky that my mother put me in show business. This is a thrill, a big day for me. I'm not sure how I arrived at this place today, but one sure thing, I've been lucky. Thank you for this day. I and my family grew up watching this event and we are all hugely impressed. Thank you, Hollywood, for its glorious past and present. Long may you live. And long may you live Christopher Walken. A true chameleon, he has the ability to reinvent and transform himself into any character. He constantly impresses, whether in a leading role or a surprise cameo, and is a truly remarkable actor. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.